boy who was thrown at Mall of America is now alert and conscious. That's according to the family who spoke through an attorney. Five year old Landon has received an outpouring of support from across the country over the past two weeks. His family says he is no longer in critical condition and they hope to see him home by June. Our social media followers were overjoyed, calling the news wonderful and a miracle. We are astounded and so blessed by the over 28,000 individuals and families from literally all over the world that have donated to our GoFundMe page. Your love and generosity overwhelms and means so much to us. Meanwhile, the man accused of throwing their son is still in jail. Emmanuel Aranda is charged with attempted murder. Closing arguments are scheduled to begin Monday in the trial of Mohammed Noor, the former Minneapolis police officer who shot and killed. Justine Ruschek Damon took the stand yesterday. Noor testified that he saw Ruschek Damon raise her arm, and that combined with his partner's reaction led him to believe that she posed a deadly threat. Before the defense rested, they called neighbors to the stand who heard more than one noise around the time of the shooting lending credibility to the theory that the officers heard a loud bang prior to the shooting. On Monday, the prosecution will call at least one rebuttal witness prior to closing statements. The jury will be sequestered, staying overnight away from their families until they reach a verdict. A truce for now between Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry and the police union on use of force training for officers after first saying the union would defy the mayor's ban on so-called warrior style or fear-based training. Union President Bob Kroll has agreed to delay the start of an online training program for officers until the police chief can review it. Kroll believes it will be approved, but if it's not, the two leaders are still at odds. If any officer is found to be deviating from the policy, uh, yes, there will be discipline. All, all trainings regarding use of force uh, have to be first authorized by the chief. I don't see how any way imaginable discipline can be employed. Do, you know, there, there's violent television shows out there. If you watch them, are you going to be disciplined? I mean, where, where do we end it? Out of the bag, this is the, this is Kroll feels he's confident the matter can be worked out with the police chief. Well, it's time to clean out your medicine cabinet. Today is National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. You can drop off unwanted or expired medications at collection sites across the area. We have a link to drop off sites in Minnesota at care11.com. And a traffic alert. 35W is shut down in Minneapolis, so crews can replace some ground, underground utilities. The freeway is closed in both directions and will reopen Monday morning at 5. The detour will follow highways 62 and 100 and I-394.